Hello guys and I'm Monday Summer from Big Box of Sierra Today we're gonna do some stick insects. Okay, let's begin. This is the setup I've got. You need something with a lot of ventilation. This I found works best. I actually got it from somebody. My only problem with this is come out. It comes with these two pieces. Now this piece goes in here. Very cute and all well. Now the problem is, what do I do with this? Because it was glued on top. It was actually a chameleon cage. So I don't know how they got it open to feed the thing. Um, but yeah, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on. And I am going to just tape it close. That's the easiest way because I can always strap it or tie it, but then I'll have to untie it. See, here's this. You could put in a zipper, but I'm not good with doing that, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, then, um, as a substrate, you can put in peat in the bottom. I use tissue paper. Um, it's easier. <coughs> I just buy these rolls. It's like 10 rand a roll. You need that for keeping the humidity up and also to catch the eggs when you've got a mature female, which I do. So what I do is I just put the paper in the bottom. It's also easier to clean out the poop and stuff. Take a little bit of water and I just wet it a bit just to get the humidity up. Okay, so that's what we got there. Now what you need is, you need some sticks to put in. This is just basically for them to climb and also when they shed, they hang upside down like this. So they need something to shed off. If they don't have something to shed off, um, they're going to get stuck in the mold and they won't be able to get out. And obviously they'll die. You can put some fake leaves in. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I'd rather use that for the chameleons or something else. I'm just going to put some more sticks in. The fake leaves I don't like because I have to put in new leaves every day anyway. Okay, so now I've got my sticks in. Then you have to put in leaves. Okay, what will they eat is the question. Now, the best is guava. So I'm quickly going to go and get some guava leaves and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to put in guava leaves. You can also use um, rose leaves or eucalyptus, blue gum. But I found guava is best. Now you have to remember this is only for the Australian spiny leaf insect. For these. And the other species will eat different stuff like the black velvet would eat honeysuckle or privet. So we have to remember that this is only for the Australian stick insect species. So we're going to do that. Okay, now you can add your little babies, they're not venomous, they don't bite, they don't sting. This is a defense mechanism, they pull up their tail like that to look like a scorpion. And then also the fact that they look like a stick and a leaf is also a defense thing. I, I must decay just twice a day, or you can just put some water on it. They'll drink the water off the leaves or just eat the leaves with the water on. Also to keep humidity up when they shed. Okay. Now this is my mature female. For these stick insects you don't need a male. If you do have a male the eggs will be male and female half off. If you only have a female and she lays eggs, the eggs will hatch out as female. You can see this female already has eggs in her tail. I'll show you what to do. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm still a bit sick. I'll show you what to do now with the eggs. Okay. <coughs> and then I'm just going to tape that close so she cannot come out. So that's basically your setup of what you do. Now for egg incubation. I put some toilet paper in. There's a little bit of peat on top. Not much though. And toilet paper must be wet. Just so that your eggs don't rot. Now these are the eggs. 
they look like um, little seeds because ants will take them and they will carry it to their nest and then the eggs will hatch out in their nest and then as soon as the, egg, as the eggs hatch out the little thick insects look like little ants and they will quickly climb out doop, doop, doop. and before the ants can realize but these are stick insects and not ants the, ant, the stick insect will be long gone okay so these are what the eggs look like look like little seeds <coughs> and you can just put it on the toilet paper I leave it uh, two weeks for cool temperature and then I pump the heat I put it in front of heat it's just basically to get them to hatch out quicker if you do have patience and you can wait then just leave them it will take about if you've got a male it will take about six to nine months if you've got a female if you've got only a female the eggs will take longer to hatch out and they'll all be female they'll take about I'll, I want to say about 10 months to 18 months to hatch out so this is just me trying to fasten up the incubation time so I'm gonna put these in a cool place for two weeks and I'll mark them with the date so I know when it was and then I'll put them in front of the heater after two weeks just for them to hatch out so anyways I hope you guys learned something from this video and enjoy <laughs>